I don't know why I order a serum tryptase because we know that it's not accurate for MCAS or mast cell activation syndrome. But when I take a history and I get the story and I understand the symptoms and the possibilities and the differential diagnosis, I do want to make sure there's not a mast cell tumor present known as mastocytosis. That relates to proliferation of mast cells, not just their instability or their activation by various triggers. So I do a trip taste for that reason, ruling out potentially mastocytosis, trying to determine if there's next steps to evaluate that further. But also some people have hereditary alpha tryptosemia, HAT. It's a genetic issue. I have patients like this in my practice where the, the tryptase is causing their symptoms, maybe in addition to histamine, and it's chronically elevated. Um, so it's not done specifically to rule out MCAS. There's other tests that are available for that purpose. Some of them can be expensive. And methylhistamine on a 24-hour urine, prostaglandin D2 on a 24-hour urine, typically not covered here. Um, but obviously, it's still about taking a history, adding up the symptoms, having them tell the story of possibility of MCAS, and so it's clinical presentation combined with response to treatment provided that patient